What's good? What's good? What's good? Your boy Savage, aka Seth Cisnettos. You know the logo, man. Broncos country, BCFFL. Mile high salute to everybody. So I wanted to go live with this, but I'm not going to. I'm at my grandma's birthday, so celebrating my grandma's 80th birthday, um, celebrating her life. So I'm gonna make this short. But one thing I want to say, man, something that's gonna help out the Broncos tremendously is. We got a quarterback that actually can extend drives, stay on the field for a certain amount of time and not tire out the defense. One thing about the quarterbacks in the last three, four years, the Broncos will get the ball back on offense and that shit will go out the window in three seconds. We'll have five second drives, bro, and the defense will have to be back on the field. Defenses only can last for so long playing like that, bro. Especially out here in this altitude. Denver has to basically acclimate themselves to this altitude too because it affects Broncos country. But around every game, bro, home games, visiting games, Denver's defense tires out second half. And you can't blame them. When you don't have a quarterback that ex that can extend plays and literally take time off the clock, that's going to happen. That's not how Russell Wilson operates, man. He's going to be able to extend plays. He's done it his whole career. That helps out the defense tremendously, and the defense will stay fresh. And, you know, one big thing, man, I know it was training camp, the red zone defense was stout yesterday against the Cowboys red zone offense and they shut down every aspect of the offense in the red zone didn't let them score a touchdown and I know it's training camp but that's just impressive to see the defense holding that stout is it what they're promoting out there I think it is because they've been making it hard for Russell Wilson they've been they made it hard for Dallas's offense and we'll see, man. That's We can only hold our head on that hook for Broncos country. And that's going to be a beautiful thing, man. Put up points. Let the defense tee off. Don't tire out the defense. Let Russ do what he does. And another thing is, too, when they got to, the, when they got to that red zone, Russell Wilson, you know what I'm saying, put up five touchdowns to all kinds of weapons, bro. And they didn't even have K.J. Hamler in there. They didn't have Malvin Gordon in there. And they didn't have Tim Patrick. So what he had, he utilized. He makes receivers around him that much better. That's why you're here now. Jerry Judy, this training camp, he started out slow. But he's been a comfort zone for Russell Wilson across that middle. To you Seattle Seahawks fans, bro, you said that Russell Wilson could not play the middle. He's been terrorizing in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Jerry Judy... He's been going to that dude a lot in training camp. Yesterday, he went to Jerry Judy, Jerry Judy multiple times, even threw Jerry Judy a touchdown in the red zone. So, you know, like he makes players around him that much better. And that's all I got to say, man. It's going to be fun to watch these Broncos put in work. And like they said today, the Broncos are what they are advertised. They are looking good. People are starting to recognize this. They're starting to say, Broncos are ahead of schedule when it comes to learning the new system, learning the new learning the new coaches' ways, and they're ahead of schedule. Russell Wilson's already feeling comfortable. You know what I'm saying? But that comes from work ethic from when he first got here. You think this fool came and just chilled? This fool came right away to Denver and he started learning the ways of Broncos country, the new system. He started building relationships, building chemistry, and that's all we, that's all going to play a part because when he said when he first got here, it's not about what you do in the future. It starts right now. It starts right now turning around the culture in Broncos country right now. The day he stepped foot in Denver, it starts right now. He already went to work. That's something we haven't had in a long time. That's on paying Manny status, bro. So you know what it is. Mile high salute to all my Bronco fans. Broncos, brothers, sisters, BCFFL. You know what time it is, man. Mile high salute tomorrow preseason. You know, it's going to be a good, uh, good, good aspect to get some football back in the air, man. So you know what it is, man. Y'all have a good night. Let's go.